Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Lucky and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Lucky's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Lucky will come home with his very own training equipment and you're gonna be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now Lucky is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we would like to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. It's a very basic command, but very important with big strong hound mixes and the command is Lucky heal. Lucky, heal. Now at this point, Lucky has a job to do and that is to stay even with your left leg when you're walking. If you turn, he should turn. If you slow down or speed up, he should do the same. And if he's not focused on you, talk to him, but give a little tug and release on that training collar incorporated into this heel exercise is an automatic sit. So if you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, Lucky should be sitting nicely, paying attention to you, waiting for his next command. Very nicely done and he's making very good eye contact. Now the next command that we'd like to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and it is a one word command. Now your long sit stay helps to develop self-control and maturity. So practice this exercise indoors as well as outdoors and lengthen out the amount of time that he's able to hold it up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him as an additional distraction, returning all the way back around to where they started. He gives Lucky a pat for praise, and they take off healing again. And if you saw, saw Lucky started to drop down into a down, and Rich just pulled slightly up on the leash to get him back into a sitting position. But you're going to be learning all of this, and that's why you have the video to work with. Rich leaves him again in another sit stay and make him hold those like don't be too fast to run through your commands and this time instead of returning back to Lucky, Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. The command is Lucky come and Lucky's to come and sit not come and jump all over you. So remember that when you're working with him or when he's greeting you in your home to get petted and loved, which is what he craves, he has to sit. Don't reinforce that negative behavior by petting him and loving him when he's acting wild and jumping all over you. That's a no-go. And just working him in obedience is giving him positive attention. Rich will leave him in another sit stay. He walks out to the end of his leash and he turns to face him. And then when he's ready, he will call him. Good job. Right in, nice sit. And then back to heel. Good job, buddy. Okay, <laughs> he's doing really good job. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands and these are probably the most loved and the most used commands other than the heel. The first down command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. So always have your dog seated first at your left. You take your left open palm and push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay, you're definitely going to practice indoors, probably more than outdoors. You're going to work all the way up to a five minute long down stay. When Rich returns back to him, he's going to walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay. This is an additional distraction. Lucky he spun his head around, but he didn't get up. Rich returned back to heel, and at that point, Lucky expects to get another command. Rich told him to heal. He's going to bring him back to face the camera. We're going to demonstrate 
that down from a heel position again. Remember to have him seated first. Stay. Left hand straight down toward the ground, firm down, stay. Walk out to the end of your leash and turn to face him. Now he got up out of that down and all Rich did was say no and repeated the command. So that's how you handle it. If he doesn't do something or he breaks a command, you don't get mad. You just move on. Make him do it. This time Rich will call him out of that. So as you can see, Lucky has done a lot of maturing while he's been here at school and learned to be an obedient boy. We're going to be sending you um, the schedule that he's been on here at school. I know that you guys work, so you're going to have to incorporate that into your own schedule. Now the la last command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a distance. So with the dog seated, Rich is going to give him a stay command. Stay. He's going to turn to face the dog. This is the only time that you're going to use at this point your right hand to give the command. And Rich is going to give him the down. He's anticipating. You can see how much training he's had because he starts to run through the commands on his own without being told. And that's your down from a distance. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Lucky's formal on-leash obedience commands and he's done an amazing job with that. We've enjoyed having him. He's truly a sweetheart. And we want to thank you again for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.